briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1971, a controversial case emerged from North Middlesex Regional High School in Massachusetts. At the center of the storm was an 18-year-old senior who found herself shunned by the very institution meant to foster her intellectual growth. The student, also pregnant, was barred from regular classes by the school as they had a rule forbidding the attendance of expectant unmarried girls. This policy triggered a significant legal affair when she decided to fight against what she felt was in glaring injustice. Doctors, social workers, and even her fellow classmates testified that she was in full health and capable of attending school during regular class hours without any disruption. However, the school remained firm on its policy, offering only after-hours private instruction as an alternative, a system decidedly unequal to the regular classroom experience. Taking the matter to the United States District Court for the District of Massachusetts, the issue was primarily about equal educational opportunities. The court had to decide whether the school's policy of segregating the expectant student and providing an arguably inferior level of education was lawful. Ultimately, the court sided with the student, instructing the school to readmit her immediately. They deemed that there was no valid educational ground to warrant her treatment and emphasized the importance of the right to receive a public school education. They stated it as a fundamental personal liberty that the school authorities have failed to justify as a reason for their policy. The decision was a triumph for the unfortunate student and a victory for equal educational rights. It is a significant reminder that discrimination, even on the basis of pregnancy, has no place in an institution dedicated to cultivating young minds. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.